nobody wins when the family feels. Let's keep in touch with her. And they had a lot of people telling me, man, horrors. Man, I don't like how Keisha be underneath that man. And I used to tell them, well, y'all got to understand, from my point of view, I'm like, y'all got to understand, that's her daddy. She just, you know, she want to be under her daddy. That That's so see her daddy, you know what I'm saying? So, with all this being said, so I talked to my daughter yesterday. I'm putting this all like flatty feel nothing. So I talked to my daughter yesterday, and I'm like, baby, what's going on? She like, daddy, I'm sorry, like, I, I, I knew it was wrong and I'm sorry like like and I'm just asking her like as a father you know I understand what y'all saying and how y'all going about y'all child y'all go a different route because y'all gotta understand chick daily with a child that's going through things and I ain't trying to lose my child behind being on no because of my hurt fam I had to bring you guys this story spread awareness on it and hopefully some form of justice could come. Imagine raising a child for 16 years. You find out that's not your child. Then the biological parent come around, or the sperm donor, and they do the unthinkable, like have sexual relations with their child. And the only reason this information is coming out is because the man-girlfriend is talking, exposing them. But how long can someone live with you and be with you and do such thing and go unnoticed? And all this is going down on the last weekend of 2023. So before we go over this one, remember, I don't give you no angle. I just give you the story. So with that being said, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We're going to jump right to it. First thing first. Fam, this was a teenager who this was done to. Going on five years now, 20. And we're not going to fault her at all. If you have a dad that come around after you was just 16 years old for the very first time. And a known ass offender. And the things we're about to discuss happen to you. My love, you was groomed, and I feel sorry that that was the guidance that was provided to you. But fam, as I read this information, try to point out the obvious, like tagging this woman who's the man daughter, exposing your quote unquote man. I almost feel like she been new and held this evidence until she flashed out. We're going to New Liberia, Louisiana, which is a two hour and 10 minute drive to New Orleans. A woman named Kiki had tagged the daughter of course, I blurred out her name. She went to Facebook and said the following. Man, say, this is crazy. When an end you love, William DeCur, with green eyes, been in a secret relationship with this so-called daughter. Look, each August, Jackie Cheryl's daughter. The whole effing time. I was right. The whole time. Laughing my A off. All the ones who said you was effing your daughter, they was right too. Laughing my A off. Y'all some effing clowns. I'm definitely with this shit today. From the good morning bay, my love, and boo text, to the I wanna F text from his daughter. To him, along with an intimate A letter from her to him. Oh yeah, can't forget the ordering of sex chocolate. Oh B.A. Nick, you've been exposed. You're bad effing clown and your daughter too laughing emojis now y'all can live together and do all the effing y'all want to y'all sick new liberia's finest couple laughing my a off throwing up emoji some clowns so before we continue let's digest this all this real quick family she said she been new why you just now coming out to speak and why you coming to the internet saying everybody name calling his daughter a clown like she was in competition with you and not go to the police and mention her mother and put all this business out for the world. You just as guilty. Now, of course, I'm not giving you no angle, family. But most would say, just off this post alone, this woman Kiki didn't have good intentions. Fam, she released a letter. And you could tell this poor teenager was grown to this sick stuff. Poem to my love. Thank you for always making me laugh. You have never broken my heart in half. I will be there for you like you are for me. I always imagine how our future together would be. You're the best dad, friend, and mom in the world. That's why I am happy to be your baby girl. You've shown me how great it is to love and be loved. Your vibe and personality is something I'll never let go of. There is nothing I wouldn't do to keep you in my life. It's a bummer I'm your daughter because I'd rather be your wife. You make me the happiest woman in the world. I'm glad you treasure me as a pirate does his pearl. I love how you soothe me with a simple hug. When I'm close to your body, I always feel so snug. You don't have to be perfect, be rich, or have bling. I'll be loyal forever. I love you, my king. Now, Kiki released messages from a watch. One saying, then I want your B pause. You better. I wish we can go in the room that early. We can go have some fun. Now, Kiki's boyfriend was a man that went by William DeCur, 
who was also registered as an S offender back in 2013. The incident happened on November 26, 2013. He was 29 years old at the time, so he's 39 now or 40. It happened on the 500 block of Apricot Street in New Liberia, Louisiana, in decent behavior with juveniles. Now, I would find it hard to believe that someone had a baby with someone and not know if they got themselves involved in something like that. And if they did, I don't know why they let that 16-year-old girl for the first time go be with her dad. Now, Natine was raised by another man for the first 16 years of her life. She has his last name. He went to live within the last 24 hours and spoke on this situation. Shit, if y'all can, I want I, I want y'all to tag Kiki. I want whatever her name, Kiki, the one who made the status. I want all of it. I want I want I want I want attention from everybody. Um, after my life, everybody should have a clear head on how I'm feeling about the situation and how the situation occurred. Okay. All right. Everybody know me. Okay. Keisha is my daughter. I'm Horace Dugas. Keisha's last name is Dugas. Okay. I raised Keisha from a baby. It was before when our mama got pregnant, shit, I was there. So at the end of the day, when Keisha turned 16, before our graduation, our mama told me that it was a possibility Keisha wasn't for me. Out of all these years, 16 years, okay, she was supposed to be for the dude that y'all seen the messages and all that from, okay? So, I, I stepped back. I got other kids. So, I'm like, only kids I got to take care of. She damn near grown. You know what I'm saying? So, I let them build a rekindle. I'm thinking I'm letting them rekindle a daddy and daughter. That's how I was look. That's how it was brought to me, as him being her possibility daddy. Okay. Now, yesterday, I get a call with the messages about. You see, y'all just figuring this out today, but this shit yesterday. So I get the message that the dude that's supposed to be her daddy, that's supposed to be doing the father rule you heard me playing with my daughter how this come about is that my baby mama told me yesterday he found out a year ago he wasn't her dad this was brought to me yesterday now remember in my eyes i'm thinking like well that's his child you know i'm i got my other kids i'm taking care of my other kids so him and the old lady him and his girlfriend well my daughter moved with him at 16. they she went on moved with him and his girlfriend uh the kiki whatever her name the kiki chick you feel me so they supposed to be a happy family you know my daughter 16 she got a 15 year old daughter i found out so they supposed to be like a family you know he going with the mama he got his daughter with her he trying to rekindle what I'm thinking. He trying to rekindle all the lost years that he ain't have with her. But the whole time with her, what she told her mama yesterday, it really wasn't like that. The whole time he was on some predators, like, like he didn't brainwash my baby. And he was on some predators. And mind y'all, me I ain't never changed my daughter Pampa a day in my life like I ain't never seen her 2D I ain't never seen none of that cause me being a man I felt like that wasn't my place even when she got old I used to get mad at her when she'll leave her clothes out and be like daddy come bring me my clothes in the bathroom I'll get on her ass Keisha with the phone like you know I don't rock like that man make sure you got your shit before you go in the bathroom you know what I'm saying? I do that with my stepdaughter. I did that with Simone. She was, I did that with everybody that I done been with that had kids. Like, I don't, you know, I look at these kids like my kids. You know what I'm saying? I don't, none, none of that. But let's go back to the story. So, bum, I found out yesterday, through messages just like y'all, 
that the dude have been having sexual intercourse with my daughter. Mind y'all, my daughter was a virgin. He was her first. So y'all gotta look at it like y'all gotta really feel what I'm feeling like like when she left at 16, he really basically like drill her, drill her to being like on that. Y'all didn't watch the movie that fade the black shade of whatever the fucking driller. Now mind you, years ago I didn't told her mama, man, I heard things about dude. You know what I'm saying? But her mama was on. Oh, I'm just hating. Oh, you hating this and that? You just mad this and that, this and that, this and that. No, I wasn't mad. You know what I'm saying? I was letting you know. I was hurt. Yes, I was hurt because I didn't took care of a child from baby to she turned 16 and you took her from me. You know what I'm saying? And yesterday when the shit came about, I went in for the move, which I've been in. I've been in for the move since the day she left. I've, I've been talking to Keisha every day. Like, how you doing, baby? What you doing? Even showing respect to him like even showing respect to him like Keisha how how you like it with your new daddy like you got two daddies like you know how you like it you know what I'm saying not to have my daughter on no other shit I'm I'm I didn't got so like comfortable now like because I got other kids like I say I got younger kids and Keisha is my oldest Keisha just turned 20 December 8th this year this month and like I always keep in touch with her like I always keep in touch with her and they had a lot of people telling me man Horace man I don't like how Keisha be underneath that man and I used to tell them well y'all gotta understand from my point of view I'm like y'all gotta understand that's her daddy she just you know she wanna be under her daddy that, that's so see her daddy you know what I'm saying so with all this being said, so I talked to my daughter yesterday. I'm putting this all like that's what it is. Okay, how nobody feeling nothing. So I talked to my daughter yesterday, and I'm like, baby, what's going on? She like, daddy, I'm sorry. Like I, I, I knew it was wrong, and I'm sorry. Like, like, and I'm just asking her, like, as a father, you know, I understand what y'all saying. And how y'all going to child, y'all go a different route. Because y'all got to understand, chili with a child that's going through things. And I ain't trying to lose my child behind being on the, my hurt. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, I told her, I was like, well, look, Keisha, daddy not mad at you. She like, daddy, I just don't want people to look at me differently. And I'm like, baby, nobody ain't going to look at you differently. And then today, when... Everybody just posting and posting and they got these females that I know ain't under posters and trying to trying to belittle my child like y'all and at the end of the day I'm clearing this shit. But for the four years that she been going away from me, she was being raised by a nigga that was predating off of her. So you gotta understand her mind was not there. She ain't have that love as a father no more when she went out there and started food. It started being a first thing. And to the point that this nigga enticed it. Instead of him being a fuck, you can't, you can't, we can't be on that level. We can't be on that level. Like, nah, I'm your daddy. Like, even if I'm not your daddy, like, I'm going to be your father figure. Nah, baby, I'm going this and that. Like a man's supposed to. Wasn't doing that. This nigga was sending messages back to my baby about he liked the view. Oh, she his busted baby. This first time being with a man. My my daughter ain't never had sex. She's 20 years old. First man that she ever had sex is this fuck. You want to know how I feel? Y'all want to know how I feel? I've been going through and seeing this shit. And I've been standing 10 toes down and night. When y'all get on here and y'all start putting, oh, this and that. Oh, she say this. Oh, she say that. Y'all put yourself in her shoes. Y'all gotta y'all put yourself in her shoes. Like she had a father. I was her father. I took care of her for 16 years, great years. Did what I had to do. Never once, never once, ever once 
plead with my child or let any man play with my child. Because all my kids are my kings and my queens. I always try to teach them right on a dad. I didn't been through with other females and heard from other females. Oh, my uncle did this to me when I was young. Oh, my cousin did this when I was young. Oh, this one did this to me when I was young. This one took advantage of me when I was young. At the end of the day, y'all, man, instead of belittling my child and trying to hurt my child and, man, I just ask y'all in any kind of way, just especially the women that been through the order and really like console her. I can't do that. I'm a man. I can't console her with the feelings of being, being taken advantage of. You know what I'm saying? But I'm sitting here on this internet and I just constantly seeing everybody. Everybody just posting. Everybody, oh, how they could do this? Oh, how they could do that? You know what I'm saying? Nah, man, y'all can't, you, you gotta understand, like, sir, I ain't got no control over. Like, like I say, she moved out of town. Her mama let her move out of town with dude and this and that. So from my understanding, he was a father. That's how I was looking at it. Like, he was a father. And at the end of the day, bro, shit not funny, man. Like, everybody go through shit. Everybody go through the worst. I've been going through shit with my wife, okay? and I ain't gonna lie to nobody. Yes, it been painful. Yes, because I look at it like, man, I didn't did all I could do for that person. That person still want to be dumb. So at the end of the day, I'm gonna let that person be dumb on their own. If they still want to run that route, go be that route. But when it comes down to my kids, I got to speak on this. Yeah, people do that. People make mistakes. But at the end of the day, what is your mistake when you're not married? That's what I'm not understanding. Y'all so much on the negativity kind of, and it's about to be 2024. Everybody on a negative. Y'all need some positive women. Like if you just like with my baby situation, y'all know the shit, but y'all laughing at it. Instead of writing, man, going at this nigga neck. Y'all not going at the nigga neck. Y'all going at my baby neck. And y'all the women. You know what I'm saying? That's the crazy part about my daughter situation, which I ain't know nothing about. And like I told y'all, this nigga really built my daughter to be his sex slave, like on some shit. That's how I feel. He built her to liking him, not as a father, but as a man. Like, as her man. You know what I'm saying? And supposed to do. Not a father. He he really opened up a door with my daughter to the point that she felt like he wasn't no father no more. This is my boyfriend. This is my man. Something that he ain't supposed to do. Knowing if he was or he wasn't her daddy. You still a grown and right now I want I wanna, you know, like I wanna I wanna do something badly to do, bruh. But how my life set up right now, man, I'm at peace. You know what I'm saying? And I'm I'm very humble right now. And I know if I go out there and I do something bad to him, I got other kids that's gonna miss out on me. And like I told y'all, I live for my kids. I love my kids and I'm you know what I'm saying? I'ma let them know when they wrong or not. Just like I told Keisha. Baby, you was wrong. For even looking at him like that. And I was asked her. I asked her like, what made you start looking at him like that? And all my baby did was cry like, daddy, I'm not doing it no more. I'm sorry. This and that. I'm not doing it no more. And I'm, I'm sitting here asking y'all like from me as a father, like, Man, y'all just, y'all be more kind, like, like, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, be more kind to a female that don't know nothing of the world. She just becoming a woman. She just turned 20. And nine out of 10, I don't know how long, but we just finding out this yesterday. You know what I'm saying? So 
at the end of the day, bro, dude, like, he's very weird. And I wish, I, I wish nothing but pain on this nigga. Because at the end of the day, you ain't have to pray on my baby, dog. You ain't have to do that. Like, you took her away from here, from her whole family. And you didn't drill in her head like you was going to be, like you was her family. And you really stuck your in my child. Like, a child that's supposed to be yours. How'd that go? It gets weirder and weirder. I'm going through the message just like how y'all going through the message. I didn't went on this girl Kiki, whatever her name, page. I'm all on Kiki shit because I can't even see the messages because it's a screenshot. So I went look at the messages and really read all the messages. Even though that sh And through the messages, me seeing what they was talking about, it crushed me. Because the messages was... Hey, baby, how you doing, baby? Instead of, what's up, daughter? That is supposed to be. Good morning, daughter. How is your day going, daughter? No, it was, hey, baby, how you doing, baby? All through the messages was, a, hey, baby. I ain't never once seen nothing about daughter. And then you put, I like that view. What view do you like? Man, y'all know where I be at. Y'all know how I'm coming behind my daughter. At, at the end of the day, y'all should respect how I'm coming behind my. You know, all two behind y'all's. So at the end of the day, man, like, I don't know what to say. Like, I don't know what to feel. Cause now, with all this. Talking to her mama and asking her, tell Keisha come home, get away from that situation. And my baby keeps saying, Daddy, I'm not coming home. Like, Daddy, I don't want to come to the B because I don't want nobody looking at me differently. I don't want nobody this and that. And like, I'm telling my baby, and like, this is before all of y'all start getting these messages today. I talked to her yesterday. This shit occurred yesterday. But I told my baby, man, nobody ain't going to judge you, baby. Because everybody done been through the same thing you going through. If not worse. I say, but you know what I told my daughter? I told her you got to get away from that situation though. As long as you're around that situation. Shit ain't going to never be right. And she keeps saying like that. I'm, I'm, I don't want to come. No, I don't want nobody looking at me differently. I don't want nobody this and that. I don't want nobody. You hear me? And I keep telling her like, man, I'm not going to look at you differently. The family not going to look at you differently. And at the end of the day, everybody then been through it and went through it. And that's why I ask y'all women to help me, you know what I'm saying, talk to my daughter. Because I'm a man. She not, he didn't scar her so much to the point that I don't even think a man voice right now with my baby would even be like on no genuinely comfort to her like even though i'm her father i ain't even no comfort to her because like i don't know what she been through i don't know how they feel all i'm doing is looking in like y'all but i know half of y'all women on here then been sexually you know what i mean the same no matter if you did text even though if, it doesn't matter if she was condoning in it you got to look at it like this she was 16 when she left here. She's 20 now. That you're going to look at the person that's supposed to be your father in that type of way. If anything, you're supposed to look at that person as a father and your best friend. Not a father and your sexual partner. And that's what I want y'all to know. Like, I want y'all to know the true story. Like, like everything about my daughter 
She graduates school honors. Smart child. She don't know. She don't right now. She don't even know how to feel right now, cause she didn't seen so many people backlashes about her. You know what I'm saying? And like, like I say, I can't do it. I'm her mama. I like like her mama, but I don't want to get on that subject. You know what I'm saying? But just know right now, I don't like we like right now, I don't need no negativity from nobody. Like I really need prayers. And if y'all really genuinely help with inboxing my daughter, letting her know like she's not alone because she Fam, this story bigger than what it's looking like. From him not wanting to talk about the mother to him saying the mother said she found out he wasn't her father a year before this. So she let her daughter to stay with the man who say they gonna raise her. And the girl speaking on this, like she was in competition with the daughter, as if though they all knew. And writing poems, still saying that you wish he wasn't your dad so you could be her wife. See, if that happened at the age of 16 or 17, 18, because they said the mother just knew, or well, that's really his dad, her dad rather. It's an unfortunate situation. Sending prayers her way. Something has to get done about this. Fam, y'all let me know how you guys feel about this one in the comments. This was the story of a Louisiana woman exposing her boyfriend via social media with relations with his daughter. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Fam, I'll catch y'all on the next one.